hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to generate barcodes for product in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition which i have installed in my local instance and in this database i have installed the modules like sales and invoicing so by default in odoo so if you go to sales application and then to the products and if we go to product variants so from here we can create the products so here you can see you have a barcode field so just i'll create a new product and you will see that odoo does not generate barcodes automatically so by default there is no auto barcode generation for the products so let's take a case where we need to generate barcodes automatically while we create a new product so let's see how we can do that from user interface using auto machine so first of all what you have to do is that so i hope you understood currently we don't have this feature so let's do it from using automated actions in Odoo. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to go to the apps menu and install base automation module in the database or make sure that this module is installed in the database. So the module name is automated action rules. So just install these modules in the database. So you can see the module is getting installed so once the module is installed in the database you can go to settings just make sure that you have activated the debug mode so you can activate the developer mode from here then you have to go again to settings then technical then if you scroll down you can see a menu called automation so here you have the automated actions menu so what we will be doing we will be creating a new automated action here and i will name it as generate barcode generate barcode so i'll give the name as generate barcode then you have to choose the model so here i'll choose the model as product dot product product dot product this is the model product then it should be active trigger on creation and update so you have to i'm saying this action has to be triggered on creation and update of a record in this model so i have done that i don't need to choose any trigger fields and action to do i will choose execute python code so i have chosen the action to do as execute python code so you can see a option to enter the python codes will be available so i'll just remove this information that has been shown there now what we have to do you have, we have to do a couple of lines of code over here so i'll just add a python code for record i'll enter a couple of lines for record in records if not i'll explain what i'm writing don't worry barcode if not barcode record of barcode record of barcode env ir dot sequence so i'll explain each line what i have written next by code correct barcode so i have written a three lines of code over here so what i have done is i have created an automated action and i have given the name as generate barcode model is chosen as product trigger on creation and update and action to do is execute python code so whenever you create or update a record in product model this code will be getting executed so in the code we can see i have written just three lines of code so for a record in records so in records we will be getting the selected records so i'm just iterating it over a for loop then i'll check whether the record contains a barcode so let me duplicate this tab so i'll just duplicate this tab and i'll go to sales and products product variants so i'll check whether user enters 
you can see this field name is barcode so i'll check whether there is a value in that field suppose if user input some barcode we don't need to generate an auto barcode so if there is no barcode for the record i am assigning a value record of barcode from where i am getting value i am getting the value from sequence ir dot sequence next by code product dot barcode so here in the step i am calling next value from a sequence so you have to create a sequence in the database and name the code as product dot barcode so you can so we have to create a sequence so for creating sequence go to settings technical and if you scroll down you will have a menu called sequence and identifiers so then from that choose sequence and you have to create a new sequence that is i'll name it as product barcode sequence standard implementation and in the sequence code so in the sequence code you can see we have called next by code so this is the sequence name code this is the sequence code that we have used so i'll copy product barcode and i will put it here that is sequence code as product barcode then if you need to have some prefix for the barcode you can put prod that is prod then how much sequence like the barcode should contain how much digit i'll put 13 and if the number has to be started from something number you can put it over here next number i'll simply click on save so i have created a sequence with code as product dot barcode prefix prod next number is one sequence size is 13 so this sequence i have called it over here next by code product dot barcode so we have done so we have configured an automated action so what we will do we will create a new product and see whether the barcode is getting generated automatically so i'll go to sales then to the products product variants i'll create a new product called cheese so let's create a new product called cheese so here you can see you have the barcode field and it's empty and if you click on save you can see the barcode is automatically generated with prefix you can see prod 001 so we can see we have successfully generated an automatic barcode for the product now if you come back to the sequence so this is the sequence that we have used you can see currently next number is one and if i refresh it will be two you can see two because we have only we have taken a sequence for this record now if you create another product that is burger i'll create second product and if you click on save you can see prod 002 and if you refresh over here the next number will be three so using this sequence we called it inside this automated actions and we have assigned the barcode for the product so this is how you can generate an auto barcode from the user interface in Udo using automated actions and sequence so we have successfully generated now there will be some case suppose we have a lot of existing data there might be some case where you have to assign the barcode for existing existing data so we will see how we can do that so let me create one more product that is i'll create cheeseburger burger so instead of right now before in the two samples i have kept the barcode as empty so that it generates auto barcode now if i input some value like one two three it will not generate the barcode because we have user inputs a barcode so system will accept it rather than generating a new barcode because we have given a condition over here that is if record does not contains barcode only it will assign a auto barcode so that's it so now what we have to see if i go back to the product and if i take the list view of the product you can see we have around 37 products in the database and if i filter by barcode not set so where is barcode field is not set apply so you can see there is for 34 products for which the barcode is not yet assigned so let's see how we can generate barcode for those products so in such cases what you have to do you need a temporary solution like you need a data fix for existing product so what you have to do is that temporarily you can create a server action 
so if you come to the settings then technical you can see a menu called server action you can see server action create a new server action this is just a temporary code update like we have to execute once update barcode update barcode model is product product dot product model you can search product product model execute a python code and i'll execute the same code that we have written here you can copy this you can put it over here for recording records like we will get the records we will check whether there is barcode if there is no barcode we will be assigning a barcode click on save then what we have to do create contextual action so once you click on create contextual action it will bring an action here you can see update barcode now what we have to do we have to select all the records click on update barcode so this will execute and assign barcode for all the products now if you check the product you can see here you have barcode four five six seven eight nine ten and for all the records it will assign barcode now if you filter barcode is not set will return empty list because we have generated barcode for all the products and if you create a new one test pro if i create a new product click on save you can see pro 37 is coming and as we have made the data fix this is no more needed over here then you can come here remove contextual action and de delete this from database so simply we have added the server action as a data fix for existing record so we have done that and we have removed that now if you refresh you will not see the update barcode over here update barcode is removed so this is how you can generate auto barcode for products in Odoo. so that's it for the day if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us you can directly comment it under the video or you can reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.